Welcome to Asahi House. I'm Sam, the UK Marketing Director, and I'm really excited to give you a tour of everything inside. There's been a huge amount of work that's gone into this project, especially over really troubled times of last year, but they've done an incredible job. And this place is really, really important to us to enable us to bring our behaviours all together. And what's really exciting about this place and the UK headquarters is that this is a place for every single one of our colleagues. So no matter where you work, you are always more than welcome here. The Asahi UK headquarters is based in Woking, just about 25 miles southwest of London. About five minutes walk away, you have the Woking town centre and station. So a really, really easy walk. If you're cycling or driving, we have secure parking accessed via an upper or lower deck. We also have bike storage available within the car park with ample bike racks. There are showers and locker rooms on the upper ground floor, so perfect for commuting or exercising while at work. And we also have some unused land where we'll be creating some Asahi beehives. So don't rule out being able to get some Asahi honey at the office in some point in the future. It's only us here, which is so, so exciting. Not like having a floor as part of another building. The building is ventilated with 100% fresh air through the air conditioning system. So on some days, depending on the temperature outside, it may feel a little bit fresher. So here we are on floor two. All the floors are the same across one, two and three with the meeting space. You can see here we've got the branding lounge where we're going to have some sofas. It's going to be a great space before you get ready for your meeting. And to my right here, you can see the layout of the office with all of the different spaces where we will have multiple different teams sitting here, as well as hotspot spaces and collaboration desks you can see there on my left hand side. We'll be operating a neighbourhood scheme. So each team will have a neighbourhood where they can come and sit. And whether you choose to be a creature of habit and sit in the same place every day or mix it up depending on what your work requires for that day and the team you need to work with. But what we are going to do is a clear desk policy and we'll be providing lockers for every single person within the office so they can put their stuff away at the end of each day. We also have a stationery and printing area where you can get all of your stationery, do all your printing and recycle as much as you possibly can, which is obviously key to our sustainability agenda. We have a ton of meeting space in this office and each meeting room has a digital occupancy sensor. So if you don't turn up within 10 minutes, it will know and it will free up that meeting room for somebody else, which is great rather than having meeting rooms booked up and nobody using them. So one of the spaces we've got are these really cool chairs. And I sat in one of these the other day, looking out over the greenery there, doing some work. They are fantastic quiet spaces for a bit of informal work when you need to get your head down. Another great space in the office are these collaboration desks in the middle of the neighborhoods here on the right hand side. They're really, really good spots for when our sales colleagues come in or if you just need to collaborate on a one-on-one -on -one with another team member from a different team. Here's another one of those spaces, which is the touchdown space. So if you're just visiting for the day, you can always park up here and work from here. We have the quiet rooms here with the glass doors. So if you do need to get your head down and get a bit of work done, then you have really, really quiet space here, but don't get your head down in the sense of having a nap because you will be able to be seen. Uh, and then here we also have the stand-up desk where we can collaborate as well as a team if you just need a quick team meeting, quick team huddle. If you just want to grab a quick cup of tea or coffee, we have a kitchenette on all floors one, two and three, which are the meeting room and office floors. Um, and they're just really great spaces again for people to touch down with colleagues, um, have the choice of where they go to enjoy their lunch uh, or just have a quick one to one. So now we're on the fourth floor. This is home to our client meeting suite. We've got meeting rooms all down the left hand side um, and also we've got this great touchdown area. So when your customers are coming in for meetings or agencies or whoever they might be, we've got these great spaces people can wait before the meeting. As you can see, there's loads of natural light, great views, comfortable seating. Here we have our boardroom and on the right hand side we have all of our branded meeting rooms, all with unique lighting in the ceiling. They're all so, so light. And what I love is the amount of space we have to move around and the fact that the tables are all the colors of the brands that we have. As we keep going down, we've got another big meeting room here on the left-hand side. They all have state-of-the-art AV, all linked into Microsoft Teams to really help us with that flexible working ethos that we want to have uh, within the office. And as we head down to here, the final room we have is a big room, again, with concertina doors, which what will be really, really good is we'll have the ability for training, for town halls that we have if we're not doing them up on the fifth floor, but for training and more sort of formal training that we'll do with our sales teams when they come in or anyone else coming in where we have a big presentation. So over here, we've got our DTS innovation room. And what's really brilliant about this is that we didn't have anything anywhere near like this in the last office. We used to have to use meeting rooms, but this will enable us to test new products, to train staff and customers on the perfect pour, but also 
It's got its dedicated cellar next door, which feeds both this bar and the bar upstairs. But don't get too excited, this isn't our office bar. We'll take you up there in just a moment. So here we are on the fifth floor. So this is home to our amazing cafe and bar area. And what you'll see from this cafe is there is so much space compared to what we've been used to in the past. We have spaces over there, booth seating where you could sit and work over lunch if you needed to, or generally space to collaborate with your colleagues over a bite to eat. We've also got a wonderful balcony view with loads and loads of natural light coming in and a really, really great space for us to socialize, to show sports, to have events uh, and our town halls. However we wanna use this space, we've got plenty, plenty of options. And here's the bit I've been most excited about during the whole build, as I'm sure everybody else is. This is our bar area. You can see the amazing views over the surrounding forest around Woking. It's gonna be such an amazing space for us to socialize um, and be together after work for those informal conversations over a well-deserved beer. And here it is, our incredible portfolio bar, serving all of our products. We can have a number of them on tap, including cask, as you can see here, uh, and then bottle product available across the whole portfolio. One thing I've been so excited about, and it's come to fruition so, so well, is this incredible bar. It's poured concrete made with broken glass from our recycled bottles. So you can enjoy this as and when you get to the office over a beer. But it really, really is a fantastic space. So thank you for joining me on this tour of the office today and a huge thank you to everybody who's been involved in making this come true. I'm so excited for us to all be back here again enjoying a beer after a hard day's work.